Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and since Spectres of the Rail came out and changed everything we know about the star chart in Warframe, most of our old leveling methods have become obsolete, so today I'll be showing you a few methods you can use to rank up quickly in the new Warframe. Before anyone asks, no, there aren't any methods as fast as Draco anymore, unfortunately. First off, we'll be checking out what people are saying is the new Draco, which is Berenia on Sedna. This is a high-level interception mission with many high-level enemies that give tons of affinity per kill. This is the closest we really have to Draco at this point, although it's nowhere near as good. Let's get into the positives and negatives. First off, the positives. Like I mentioned previously, enemies will give lots of affinity when killed, and you won't struggle to find enemies as there are tons of them flooding out at you all the time. That's pretty much it. Now the negatives. Berenia is a large map, meaning you won't always be close enough to get the shared affinity from a kill your teammate gets. Speaking of teammates, pretty much every publicly queued squad is a disaster. I couldn't even get a team that could finish the mission without me carrying them. I tried publicly queuing this mission for about half an hour and it was horrible. You definitely need a team of friends to play this one. Next up we have an old but still relevant method, spy missions. If you go to a high level spy mission such as Oceanum on Pluto, you'll get 12,000 affinity every time you successfully stealthily hack a vault. As you can imagine this adds up pretty quickly. What you'll want to do is either have an Evara or Loki and run through these missions as quickly as you can whilst hacking all the data vaults successfully. Completing one of these with all three data vaults successfully hacked will net you 62,438 affinity assuming you only have one weapon equipped. Now let's break down the math of this method. You need 450,000 affinity to get a weapon from rank 0 to 30, meaning you'll need to run the spy mission about 7 times to get it from 0 to 30. It takes me about 4 minutes to run each spy mission, multiply 4 by 7 and it'll take you about 28 minutes to get a weapon from 0 to 30 all by yourself. This is pretty good, especially for a method that you can do by yourself. All in all, I'd say this is probably the best leveling method for somebody playing solo. Next up is a method that I've heard from a few places, but I suppose I'll credit Tactical Potato on this as that's the first place I'd heard of this node. The node is a CAD located on Air. This is an infested defense mission with a very small map, making shared XP incredibly easy to acquire. If you bring a Speed Nova with you, you'll be able to complete this mission even faster and I highly recommend having one on your squad. Now on to the positives and negatives. The positives first, you can get some decently fast experience. I got a weapon from unranked to about rank 22 in 20 waves of this. It's also semi AFK as you don't need to pay complete attention to the game whilst playing this mission. Now on to the negatives, of which there's really only one that comes to mind. As with every node that requires public queuing it can get pretty bad if your teammates decide to leech or not bring any decent weapons or warframes into this mission. I can't stress this enough. Bring at least one good warframe or weapon to this mission. You will drag your whole team down if you come to this mission to leech and it really does make the game community more toxic. Now those are all of the specific methods slash nodes that I'd recommend for leveling. If I had to choose one as the best I'd say that spy missions are probably your best bet for leveling quickly for the time being. Now I'd like to talk a bit about what you'll probably want to do at this point in warframe if you'd like to retain your sanity at all. Passive leveling. Just equip the weapon you'd like to level and use a better weapon in another slot and play the game as you normally would. Make sure to always publicly queue and you'll gain experience for your other weapons as your teammates get kills. This is most effective when farming for things like prime parts and relic missions or rare 5 fusion cores on Hyricon Pluto. This is pretty much how I expect the developers want you to level all your weaponry at this point. Not saying I agree with it, but that's the way things are right now. Anyways, I hope this video helped you out, and I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below, and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and if you'd like updates on videos and other strange posts, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Guides for Us All. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.